Hey Ray, welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we're here in uh, Burlington, Vermont, and we liked it so much the last time we were here we had to come back. And we're at a little park that, uh, hey wait a minute, there's somebody, there's somebody in our... Who's coming? Hey! hey. Who are you filming. guys? We're filming. You're filming? Yeah. So are we. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> Hey everybody, it. it's Love Subbin. Hey guys, Rick how Andy. you doing? It's Love hey. Subbin. We're here with Zephyr Travels. Yes, we're having a great time. So what are you guys doing today? Well, we are here at beautiful North Beach Campground, right on the shores of Lake Champlain. Right. And um, hey, what's better than camping than camping with friends, right? That's right. right. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to be hanging out today and doing a day together. Yep. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, we always say if you go someplace, if you can hook up with a local or somebody that knows the area, it's the best way to see things. So yep. right. we've got our locals here. This is Absolutely. awesome. Yep. So uh, let's go ahead and hit today. I think we're going to do some typically Vermont stuff. Huh? Right. All right. Let's do that. Fun. You guys Sounds have fun. to wait to see what it is. So but let's get going. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We have arrived at the Vermont Teddy Bear Company and we're going to head in and take a tour. All right, let's go. We'll donate another little hero bear to a first responder unit so that kids can have a bear hug when they need it most. Do you know where I can get a jar of honey? Just, just wondering. This, but apparently the gorillas have to do all the work here. The teddy bears have it made, the gorillas have to clean the windows. So my name is Cindy and I'm going to be your tour guide today. Are you ready to see some bears? Yes! yes. yes. Awesome, love the enthusiasm. Alright, come on in you guys. Just a couple of quick rules before we keep going. We just ask you don't run down the tour floor and please no climbing on the railings or reaching over the railings. Just want to keep everybody safe and you're more than welcome to take pictures of me and the stuff I am showing you guys. You're also required to laugh at all of my jokes no matter how unbearable they are. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What we do is we take 14 layers of bear fur and we place it right onto that table behind me. Now the fur does get pretty heavy after a while. So throughout the whole entire table, there are little holes and when the table is turned on, it shoots up air and it just makes our fur feel a little bit lighter. That also doubles as an air hockey table. So me and some of my coworkers do like to play a couple rounds <laughs> before we start work for the day. Then we take these cookie cutter type bear pieces and we place it right onto that fur, slide it under that blue press, and with 34,000 pounds of force, it pushes down to cut out all of those parts for us. We do have to make sure that that fur is going first side up and first side down so that when everything is all said and done, we do have a whole entire bear leg cut out instead of just half a piece of a bear leg. We do also end up with a bunch of extra fur afterwards and we would hate to have to throw that out and waste it. So we do use that to make those button bears for you guys. All of those seams are on the inside of the bear instead of the outside. But if we left the fur like this and made a whole entire bear, it would turn out something like this guy. <laughs> yes. We do stuff the arms, legs, and heads all individually before we do the body. So to keep ourselves organized, we take one of these black barrels right here. We call those barry-go-rounds. 
And if you look at it, you may notice the six different sections in the whole thing. So each different bear part gets a different section. So that when we're assembling those bears, you can pick a piece out, attach it to the bear, and then pick another piece out, attach it to the other side of the bear, and then sooner or later, you have a whole entire jointed bear. And as we keep walking, you may notice those bear paws on the floor, and those are four employees that have been working here with us for a whole 15 years or longer. Yep. So these are actually recycled plastic bottles. Yeah, recycled plastic water bottles. Right, it's very fluffy. Isn't that amazing? So we've got one of our little cubs right here. And then our 15 inch jointed size. This is our most classic bear. And we do have a 20 inch size bear, but those are usually for limited edition bears or specialty bears. But my favorite jointed one that we have here is our zombie. <laughs> this is the only Vermont teddy bear that has those red eyes. And this one's also holding a little heart that says, I give you my heart. So he's a very, very sweet zombie, you guys, I promise. But your bear will also love to be washed every once in a while. And you can do that just by tossing them right into one of our bear care kits. It's still okay to work this as well. And then you can toss them right into the washing machine. We just recommend you put them into one of these first to make sure that while they're tumbling around inside, their eyes don't get scratched. Then when you dry them, you do want to air dry them by hanging them by their tish pad. And air will work just as well because if you do end up rolling them into the dryer, they may end up a little bit like this guy. <laughs> yes. Per your request, we can make customized outfits and or bears for you guys. So a few years ago, a husband sent in part of his wife's wedding dress, and we made her a dress for her bear out of her own. We've got our front side there. And on this table right here, we've got our limited edition holiday bears. So these guys are usually released right at the end of October, early November time. So we are coming up on that release date pretty soon but only 35 of them are made every year. Except for this year, we decided to up it to a whole entire 50 a season. But they are pretty more on the expensive side, so they do range between $600 and $700, but they do sell out pretty quick. They usually get out of here between like 36 hours and two days after they are released. One other really cool thing about them is that everything over here, like all their outfits, the bears themselves, the whole shebang is completely hand sewn by these amazing people right behind me. And on the end here, we've got our bear for 2021. So this is called the Night Before Christmas. This is what it looks like. It's a little Santa Claus. And then on their paw, and every single one of them, that has their number out of 50 or 35 in the rest of the, these cases. If happens to one of your furry friends, you can send them right back to us and Dr. Pan, who is not here currently. We'll make the surgical repairs as needed and then send it right back to your home. We just ask that you make sure it has either the Vermont Teddy Bear Tish Tag on the bottom or in their eye it will say Vermont Teddy Bear or Born in Vermont. Those are just the two identification pieces that we use here to make sure that it is an authentic Vermont Teddy Bear. We will then ask that you fill out a hospital form for your friend and you can find these either right at our front desk or online on our website. So, dog attacks unfortunately do happen. As you can see here, the dog toy industry decided to make some dog toys look like bears, so it was an accident, I promise. But some people will also try to fix their bear themselves with duct tape. It does not fix everything, I promise you. But if your friend ends up anything like this guy and we are not actually able to make the changes and repairs, Dr. Pam will take all the stuffing out of it and put it into a new one to make sure all that same love and magic is in it before it goes back to your home. Occasionally, we'll also receive letters with our patients. So right here is one of my favorites. And it says, please do not let this individual visit me in the hospital. Don't be fooled by the innocent look. Someone took a hit out on me. She's the hit woman with a picture of their dog. Um, and then my other favorite is right here. It's a picture of their bear next to their dog, and the dog has a little speech bubble saying, I regret nothing. So. 
they are pretty entertaining when we get them. And then some of them are more cute and, and friendly. <laughs> um, unlike that one on the corner there. Right back here, we've got a picture of a little girl hugging her bear after she got it back in the mail. <laughs> So we just got done with a factory tour at the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory and it was really cool. Right. What'd you guys think? Oh, it was awesome. We always love a factory tour anyway, but this one was especially nice because it's in Vermont. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely true. And they, they really look like they treat their employees nice there and great place to work. And of course, we all kind of went through the gift shop yeah. at the end right. and picked up a few things. So I, I don't think we were alone. I saw a lot of bears being <laughs> yeah. bought uh, today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, someone figured it out exit through the gift shop part, but <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but yep. that was fun. Yep. Yeah. But overall, I think it was five dollars, right? Yes, per five dollars per person, which is a bargain. And you got a nifty little pin um, and a go. little teddy bear piece. A little rubber patch. Yeah. They make those from the remnants. Yeah, that was neat. Nothing gets wasted. Right. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah, it was. A, it was a great tour. Yeah, I think my favorite part was the hospital. Uh, that yeah, was that was so cool. <laughs> where where you can send your injured or. Uh, worn out teddy bear to be refurbished and they get special care and they specialize in animal uh, repairs because obviously sometimes teddy bears and your pet dog don't always get along. Sometimes that happens. Hopefully they'll <laughs> fix that bear with the duct tape all around. Yeah. That bear needed some serious help. Yeah, he needed some help, that's for sure. Then did you notice they give him IVs of maple syrup? I saw, I saw honey too. And honey? Oh, yeah, good. Honey. Actually, yeah. I think in Vermont they do that in the regular hospitals too, the people hospitals. <laughs> they, uh, they probably do. Probably yeah. Do. Yes. Well, this was a lot of fun. So, what's next? Uh, what do you think? Should we say? Beer and pizza! pizza. Hey. All, right. All right. Let's go. So you guys, this is your favorite place for pizza? This That's is our favorite place for pizza. In, in the perfect country, right? Except for the stuff Cindy makes. So far, this is our favorite. All right, we're looking forward to it. Yes. Good thing Matt and Monty and Zephyr stayed home. It's a little noisy with the traffic, but we just got out of lunch and had our pizza and beer. At Polino's Wood Fire Pizza. Yep, Polino's Wood Fire Pizza. Um, they have a brewery in here that you can get a growler of beer. And then you go over on this side and they have a wood oven um, pizza. So we had uh, our typical cheese and pepperoni and then Diane had her cheese and olive pizza. They even had across the street over here a winery. You can get a bottle of wine and bring it over and have it with your pizza if you want. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. It's a yeah, really okay. neat place. And it's Rich and Cindy's favorite place, so we appreciate them showing us this. So one of the things about Burlington is the bike pass. It's a very bike-friendly city. So we're going to go check out one of the bike paths right here along Lake Champagne. So come along. Yep. And who knows what you might run into. Love subbing.
YouTuber on a bicycle. <laughs> Bike ride. Fun. Yeah. A little, little break in the ride for rain, but yeah. just one of those days. It's just being annoyingly rainy. Not yeah. pouring rain, not whatever, but just a little bit. Just within the last hour or so. Yeah, yeah, the most of the day's been pretty nice. But clouds rolled in this afternoon and just a couple of little sprinkles. Excuse me. I think the boat's about to take That's off. right. There goes the boat. That's the dinner cruise, Ethan Helen. Heading out onto Lake Champagne for the evening cruise. Or this evening's dinner, I guess. Wonder what they're having for dinner. I would say chicken. Well, this has been a lot of fun this week getting together with you guys we really appreciate the opportunity to yep. meet up with you and have you show us your vermont yep, yep. Absolutely. this year it was vermont maybe next year it'll be new york you guys showing yeah, us some stuff absolutely. in new york awesome oh, yeah we're lo fun. we're looking forward to that yeah. that'll be a lot yeah. of fun all right so if you guys like this video as much as we did making it uh what should they do subscribe to our channel Zuffer travels give us a thumbs up if you think we're worth it absolutely <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you guys down the road Bye, everybody. Oh, See ya. What'd you get from the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory? The first thing we bought was this little hero bear. Oh. And whenever you purchase one of these, another bear is given, or yeah, is donated. Another bear for every one purchase. The donated bears go to police, fire, or rescue squads in the U.S. to give to... Um, kids that they come upon that are currently in a crisis state. Right. Kids who need a hug from a bear. Yeah. Then we bought these two. This is actually a little girl. And this we bought because it looks like our dog Zephyr. And then the second one we bought because it looks like our dog Monty. But see how neat these are? That they they move their arms and legs. Their head too, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, see? Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then is I'm sure many of you are familiar at the inauguration of President Biden, Bernie Sanders sat in the audience because it was cold outside in his winter coat and mittens and these are from the vermont mitten company which are the same ones that bernie wore at the inauguration so we just had to have a pair so they, they're made out of recycled um sweaters uh, the knitting several part? upcycled sweaters yeah and they each have a do Unique design, so new pair, no two pair are alike. Yeah. And the best part is they keep old clothing out of landfills and supports Make a Wish of Vermont. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so you're, you know. And, of course, a magnet. What's that? It says Vermont Teddy Bear. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? Yep. So yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, so those were our purchases of the day. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Burlington, Vermont. If you did and you want to see more, be sure to check out Love Summings video. A link will be in the description or at the end of this video.
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road.